Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you pattern printing using the asterisk or the star symbol. In this tutorial, we print this pattern. Let's start. Here we take a 7 cos 7 matrix. These are the rows of the matrix and these are the column of the matrix. You can see here, first row has 1 star, second row has 2 star, third row has 3 star, fourth row has 4 star and so on. So the general rule is number of star in each row is equal to the number of rows. To print the rows we need a loop and we can write it as for row equal to 1, row less equal to 7 and then row plus plus. For this picture maximum number of row is 7 that's why we write the condition row less equal to 7. Next thing that I tell you, you can see here we print multiple star in each row. In second row we pin 2 star, in third row we pin 3 star and 3 star is printed in 3 different column. Similarly in fourth row 4 star is printed in 4 different column. So to print the multiple columns in each row we need another loop and we can write it as for column equal to 1, column less equal to row and then column plus plus. The last thing that I tell you here stars are printed after printing some space. You can see here first print some space and then start. In first row print 6 space and then 1 star. In second row print 5 space and then 2 star. In third row print 4 space and then 3 star and so on. But the question is how we calculate the space. The logic is maximum number of rows minus current rows. Here maximum number of row is 7. If we consider the first row then the number of space will be 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6. For second row 7 minus 2 which is equal to 5. For third row 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and so on. And we can write the loop as for space equal to 1, space less equal to 7 minus row and then space plus plus. Here the maximum number of row is 7 that's why we write here 7 minus row and here row indicate the current row. Let's move to the coding. Here first we need to declare variable. So I'm gonna write here int row column space and n. Next I'm going to ask user how many rows they want to print. Print f enter number of rows. Next we need to read the input number using scanf function percent %d and then ampersand %n. Now we write here the first loop that is for row equal to 1, row less equal to n and then row plus plus. Inside this loop we write another loop that print space. So write here for space equal to 1 then write the termination condition. Termination condition will be space less equal to maximum number of rows minus the current rows. So we can write here space less equal to here maximum number of rows is n so we can write here n minus and the current number of rows is row and then increment the value of space by 1 that is space plus plus. And here we print space using the printf statement. Next we write the loop for column that is for call equal to 1, call less equal to row and then call plus plus. And here we print the star. Next we need to write a new line so I am going to write here printf and write here a new line. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. Enter number of rows, I am going to enter 6 and the output is this. Let's check it for another value, compile it and run it. I am going to enter 10 and the output is this. That's it, hope you understand, see you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video, to watch more videos please subscribe this channel.